Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to demo the new Passbook app for iOS 6. All right, for those of you that are unaware, Apple did announce Passbook. It's basically an app to store all of your digital information, such as boarding passes, as well as coupons and cards for different stores. However, with the release of the iOS 6 beta, Apple didn't really include functionality for Passbook, but there's a newly released website called PassSource that allows both users and companies to easily create their own passes for Passbook. And I'm going to give you guys some demonstrations of that. So if you're on iOS 6 beta yourself, you will notice that you do have a Passbook Passbook app on the iPhone or iPod Touch. Unfortunately, the Passbook app is just restricted to those devices, so it's not available on the iPad right now. And if I were to open up Passbook right now, I'd just be greeted with this screen right here. Passbook is for the stuff in your pocket, boarding passes, tickets, store cards, as well as coupons. But what we can do is actually go to the website. It's PassSource.com, just P-A-S-S-S-O-U-R-C-E.com. And once you navigate to that website, you can either select individuals or companies. I'm actually going to zoom in here and then we'll go over it. All right, so I'm just going to select individuals and then what you can do from here is select the type of pass you want to create. Now I'm just going to go ahead and create a boarding pass really quick and I'm going to go over some of the different fields with you guys so you can see what you can actually customize for pass source so you can possibly do it yourself if you're interested in Passbook for iOS 6. Unfortunately, the functionality isn't quite there yet. However, you can definitely make some really nice looking cards and and again, you can kind of just see what's to come in the full final release of iOS 6. All right, so right here, what you can set is the actual date. So I'm going to bring it up here and I'm just going to set the date. Now, sometimes this changes it, other times it actually doesn't change it for the pass itself. It all kind of just depends on which boarding pass you're creating and which settings you actually have. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and create it. And then you have your option to set your location. Again, this will trip if Passbook is set to recognize your location and if it's set to use notifications. So what you can do right here is set the location for where you want the pass to actually notify you or you can actually set a time and you can scroll down and you can select the name of the organization right there obviously this is just for the actual airline itself I'm just gonna leave it how it is and you can set the actual logo text as well and you can change the background color right here what you have to do when changing the actual background color is just go ahead and hit set it's extremely easy to customize and if you're not familiar with the structure it uses it actually brings up something right here to allow you to select the color itself again this is HTML5 so obviously it's compatible with mobile Safari for the iPhone iPad and iPod touch but again you can't really use this on the iPad because there's absolutely no point. So you can go ahead and select the color you want. Once you've found it, you can hit done. Uh, but then what you actually have below that is your barcode message. So now this will come up once the barcode is actually scanned and you can change the type of barcode as well. So what you can do is just set the barcode to, let's say I crack your iDevice. I'll just change that really quick, the beginning part right here. Once it's set or once you've changed your other fields, you can go ahead and just hit done or you can hit go if you're ready to actually get your pass. But because we're not ready, we're still customizing things, we're gonna go ahead and just hit done for now. Like I mentioned, you can also change which type of barcode it is. We do have a drop down menu right here and because I don't have something to read this type of barcode, we're gonna go QR and I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of actually scanning the barcode. Again, you have more information that you can set there as well. You can basically set any different text information and this will come up when the actual pass is scanned at the store or at the location, in this case, the airline. So like I said, I just set it to iCrack your iDevice for the beginning part and we can go ahead and hit done to that. And scrolling down here, you can actually change a couple different settings. Again, it all depends on which pass you're actually editing. Here we do have the transportation pass, so I'm just going to keep it at air. Again, you can also change it to train, bus, boat, or generic, which you can kind of customize yourself. Like I said though, because this is in alpha stages, actually it says that up there at the top, it doesn't have all the customizable options just yet, but I know they're working on implementing them. Up here you actually have the header fields. I recommend leaving this the same because these are just the generic fields. All right, now scrolling down here, we do get the name of a departure city. I'm gonna go ahead and change that really quick. Uh, let's go ahead and change that to New York City. Once you set the name for the departure city, you have to know the departure code. So we're just going to set it for JFK. 
and then down below that you also have your arrival city name we're just going to set that to Los Angeles and then down below that you also have your arrival code we're just going to set that to LAX and then down here of course you do have your passenger name and I'm just going to set that again to I crack your eye device now once you have that set you do have a couple of other fields I'm not really going to go too into depth on it but let's just change this value right here from coach to first class just as a demonstration All right, then once you have it set, you can actually go ahead and create it if you like the past settings the way they are, and then it will go and actually create it, and then you can actually go ahead and hit add, and it will add it to the Passbook app for you. However, I'm going to change one thing really quick, actually two things. I'm going to change the color of the pass so you guys can see that that does indeed work, and I'm also going to change the back end field right here, as you can see, uh, you can change this information. The only one I'm really going to change just to show you guys the big difference here is terms. So as you can see, there's a bunch of information here just going over the terms of the application of the actual pass itself. Uh, so what we can do is go ahead and hit cancel and I'm just going to change those two things really quick. First, starting with the color up at the top. So right here, we're just going to hit set and I'm just going to grab the selector there and change it to red. All right, now scrolling down, like I said, I was going to change that terms section. And right here for back fields, we do get the option to change it. As you can see, it does say terms right there. And let's just go ahead and select it and we will change it. Of course, make sure you keep what you want to change inside of the actual quotation marks there. So we're just going to change it to test and we're actually going to change the label of terms to test as well, all caps. And let's just make it test iOS so it doesn't look completely the same. And once we have it set, we can go ahead and hit done and create. And this time, as you can see, now it is a red pass instead. It's actually kind of hard to read. The default is blue for the boarding pass, but we'll just leave it how it is right now. And we can go ahead and hit I as well. And like I said, down below, it does say test iOS instead of terms. And now it just says test instead of listing out all of the terms. So you can kind of get a feel for it and play with the different passes there. And then once you like it, again, you can hit add and then it gives you a little animation and then it actually adds it to Passbook. So we can bring up Passbook. And as you can see, now we have our new pass. So I'm just going to zoom out now and then I'm going to create a couple of other passes and show you guys some of the animations inside the Passbook app itself. All right, there we go. Now that I'm back, I'm just going to close out of the Passbook app and show you guys what happens when I open it again. As you can see, it sorts all of my passes in a really nice fashion, it gives me sort of a brief overview of them. I can go ahead and tap on a specific one and it brings down the other passes and it kind of leaves them there just so you know that you also have additional passes and to actually get to the other passes, all you do is just swipe down like so and it brings up all of the other ones. Now, if you have multiple passes, uh, like for instance, this coupon here, I have multiple types of coupons. So once you tap on it, you can swipe over between the two different coupons and then you can just pull down again to get all of your other coupons. And then if you were to delete one of them, all you have to do is tap the eye in the lower right hand corner and then just the trash icon in the upper left hand corner and then delete. And then it gives you a really nice delete shredding animation. Of course, that was demoed during WWDC when they were actually unveiling iOS 6. And now the very last thing I wanted to show you is just the information that comes up once you scan it. I told you guys I'd do that earlier, so let's go ahead and just do it for this pass right here. As you can see, we do have a QR code, which is different than the standard code that it gives you. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and switch back here to this boarding pass, and we're just going to scan it with a basic QR reader over here on my iPhone and we're just going to scan it. All right, as you can see, it did bring up that information. As I mentioned before, I did say I just typed I crack your eye device towards the beginning of the code, so that's what it comes up with. And of course, that's what will happen when the merchant actually scans it as well, or in this case, the airline. So of course, like I said, it is not done yet. This is just a website to give you guys an idea for the actual app itself, and to also give some companies a head start on creating concepts for Passbook and also creating some of their own passes. So I hope you guys liked this video. 
please be sure to rate it up if you did leave any comments down below in the comment section and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. Also for more updates you can be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me to one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.